Hello everyone, it's me Ace Mari welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorials and today I'll show you the technique. The photo was like that and after editing that, we got this type of. So let's start the tutorial. If you are new in my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon. We are closing this window and going to the main photo. The photo was like that. Press Ctrl or Command J. You can make copy by this one, giving the name. After that, just going to the selection tool which is the subject selection and select the subject like this after selecting the subject this area just left that's why we are going to quick selection tool again and making little bit of zoom press the minus value that means the alter button and deselect this area so after deselecting that this area little bit of deselect so you can make the brush size bigger and smaller for your convenience and just deselect this area like this after that go to the select and mask options and in this window just making this one into the smooth value like this and edge shifting little bit up like this and after that here is the options and you can refine the edges like that that's fine and when you are okay with that making this one a little bit of smooth and then new layer and hit ok so you are getting the layer like this and this select the control and hold it and select this layer turn off this layer going to the edit layer and then going to the select and from the modify options expand and make this one 60 pixels and hit ok and now going to the edit options going to the fill options make this one continuer and hit ok it will take time and after taking the time the subject will remove turn on this one and going to these edit options going to the filter going to the blur gallery till shape blur making this one downside middle of this and making this one blur like this adjust the area of the blur and then hit ok so after making this ok going to the color lookup options from here making this one moonlight 3d that's good and making this one little bit up down the opacity 88 percent and press ctrl or command j making this one into upper side select this one press the ctrl and hold it the area will select and go to this mask and go to the brush tool make the brush size bigger make the opacity down 30 percent around and 30 percent around the flow and just brush the little bit of portion don't brush all the portions little bit of press ctrl or command d that means deselect and in this portion the opposite will be more down select all the layers right press and convert to smart object and after that going to the filter camera filter now we'll apply a preset going to these three dots into the load settings options and the forest example i'll provide you this example file in my video description adjust the exposure a little bit the highlight a little bit white a little bit up from the temperature you can adjust the temperature if you want so i'm making this one like this and hit ok our photo is ready now going to the levels options from here you can adjust the level like this and like this that's good now select this layer and select this and make this one convert to smart object and after that filter Nick collection color effects pro 4 this one is another plugins and you can get lots of filters over there hit the ok button after that going to the cross processing options and lots of sub method over there which one do you prefer i am preferring here c04 and make the percentage of the strength 20 or 23 and hit ok it will take time and providing you the final output so before one image was like that and after one you're getting the effect and edited image like this so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any sort of queries please do comment in my video comment section until the next video is signing out today stay safe stay healthy keep me in your prayers bye bye